We're here at ITU Telecom World 2017 in Busan in the Republic of Korea and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by the Minister for ICT for Ethiopia, Debrez and Michael. Minister, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me too. Now I'd like to start off by talking to you about the Leadership Summit where you just uh, came off the stage from and you just spoke on the, about visions of smart societies. Perhaps you could share a little bit about what your vision is with us here. Of course. Uh, well, I'm sure you know very well why we need this digital uh, transformation. It's about uh, changing the life of our people. We want to address a number of uh, issues. can be developmental issues on health, education, poverty, services. And uh, unless we use digital uh, intervention, digital technology, we cannot uh, transform the whole thing. So this digital intervention is a, tr a transformative uh, uh, intervention that makes life easier. So uh, we have to have a very comprehensive uh, approach towards it. And. Uh, when we say transformation, it's not just about using IT. Although IT is the main component, the information technology. You have to change the mind of people. It's about transformation. It's not about just incremental change. It's about doing things a new way. So there must be a shift from traditional way of doing things. So we have to work on the mind of people. They just have to uh, understand that they should not do the same thing the way we have, they have come uh, all over, be it the government, the private sector, the citizen. So that's why it is transformative. So therefore, uh, all citizens must be on board. Government, private sector, everyone. If you, you lose any one of them or even some part of them, then there is no transformation. So we give uh, a lot of importance and uh, weight for this digital transformation. And uh, that's why we have to approach it through a very comprehensive kind of approach. Because itself is a comprehensive change. It has to be dealt with a comprehensive approach. So we have a very concerted uh, effort plan that prioritize the engagement, as I said, the different uh, sectors, different uh, stakeholders. So uh, it's about changing the world we live in. So it is very vast for us uh, when we talk about this digital transformation. And what are the major challenges, do you think? Well, the main one, uh, I, was, I was just mentioning about the issues. One is the uh, mindset. Mindset is very important. Uh, if the mindset is not right, then even if you have the technology, you are not going to use it into good use. So uh, we have to be, all of us have to be ready to move from what we are we are used to do. So the readiness of uh, well, it starts from the government again, the private sector, the citizen. So uh, the culture change is the most important. The mindset uh, is the most important. The readiness to use this technology is, uh, is the key for us. The other is, well, you have to have the, the technology. So connectivity is uh, another very important challenge because uh, we are talking about technology digitalization. Unless you have this uh, ac affordable access to everyone, not to people in, in town, to remote areas, to all citizens, then there is no digital transformation. So uh, that's the second one because it's about investment. It is about affordability. Although we have many uh, several technology solutions, but are they affordable? Can people use it? Especially the poor in the remote areas. And what and about uh, education? I was going to say, what about education? What role does education play in this? Education for me is a common denominator 
in this uh, digital transformation, but it also in others. That is the key, because you, we have to start with awareness. As I said, uh, people at the remote area, people at the university, at other places, they have to be ready for, to impress this digital uh, revolution. So at different levels, we need education. Just awareness, meaning just this what you call this digital literacy, so that they can easily use whatever technology are available. This can be mobile. You don't need to, to be sophisticated gadgets, but people have to know, at least understand, so that they have to put it into good use. At higher level, then you need programmers, developers, who can develop content for the people on health, education. So uh, we have this continuum of uh, educational levels that we have to address, meaning different people. So you have to have a, a proper curriculum that address all these segments. Some just aware sensitization at the high end expertise so that we will use this infrastructure for health, for education, and for other purposes, for government services, for e-commerce. So we need this top notch people as well who can develop this uh, application as different service. So we need this uh, education. So it is, the spectrum is so wide. Now, Ethiopia has a pavilion here. I wanted to find out what's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? And have you got a key message here for participants? Yeah, actually, uh, it is our first time that we are coming to Busan with this uh, pavilion. So we need to show that uh, we are making some progress. At the same time, we also want partnership. Because when we say there are some progresses, it doesn't mean we are complete. We show that there are some advancements, but we still need to do much more. So with this pavilion, uh, we expect, one, to introduce ourselves, but at the same time, to engage, to look for partnership. Because this is a global uh, platform. So this is, uh, for us, an opportunity to introduce, as well as to know other uh, companies, this uh, innovative uh, solution providers. So this will be an opportunity for bridging the gap. So uh, I think we can uh, best use this uh, opportunity to identify resources that we can use in, in our country. In fact, in some cases, we are also looking for uh, investors on IT, specifically on IT. And we have developed already an uh, IT park for private sector. So this can be an avenue for anyone who is interested to, to invest. At the same time, develop our IT ecosystem. So we are looking for partnership. We are looking for uh, people or companies, innovators who have any interest, who can even start acquaintance and communication with us so that they will be part of our development. That is the main uh, uh, well, uh, mission of this pavilion. Great. Well, we wish you the very best of luck, and I'm sure you'll uh, get some interest. And uh, thank you very much, Dee, for being with us in the studio today. Thank you for inviting me as well. Thank, thank you. you.